There is one kind of hair loss that people don't really talk about very much, but it is actually not uncommon in postmenopausal women. So it's really important that if you are suffering from hair loss and you're over 50 or postmenopausal to make sure that the diagnosis of your hair loss is correct. One diagnosis that's um, perhaps not really known about is something called frontal fibrosing alopecia. Now this presents in postmenopausal women as a type of scarring hair loss, which means that the hair does not grow back. And it shows up as a receding of the frontal hairline. So what women notice, and it mainly affects postmenopausal Caucasian women, is that their entire frontal hairline will move back and they'll see kind of a white where their hair was because your hair has always protected your skin from sun damage. So you'll have a white area where your hair was and it affects the front and the sides and it just everything moves backwards. So it's generally thought to be related to autoimmune disease like hypothyroidism, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. We don't know why this happens. There's no known cause. Um, and like I said, it looks like a linear kind of band of uniform hair loss at the front and the sides of the scalp. And that hair, that the skin you can see looks shiny and pale. Um, and you don't usually see visible hair follicles there. When it's active, you see redness and scale around each little hair follicle, and then you know it's active. It can often be itchy. You can also lose um, the hair on your kind of lateral eyebrows. So you, you'll find that your eyebrows are thinning as well, and you can also lose your body hair. Now, this type of hair loss is really commonly misdiagnosed as androgenetic or hormone-related hair loss or age-related hair loss. Um, fi frontal fibrosing alopecia is a clinical diagnosis. It doesn't normally need to be biopsied. There are no blood tests for this. Um, it's a very classic appearance. Unfortunately, there aren't any great treatments and the, the point of treatment is to stop it from getting worse because you can't regrow the hair once you've, it's started to recede. So we often use topical steroids if there's active inflammation. Um, Anti-malarial tablets are used as well. Luckily, it's considered a self-limiting disease, which means it'll stop on its own. And the average um, amount that the hairline recedes is somewhere between 1.8 to 2.6 centimeters. So that's quite substantial receding, but there is a point at which it stops. So I generally can reassure my patients that they won't lose all their hair and the point of treatment is to stop it from getting worse. It is a very distressing condition to have. Um, so if you think you might have this, see your doctor and get the diagnosis right.